What's up everyone? On this episode of Dirty Elbows Garage, we're cleaning up the garage itself and we're gonna modify the work table so I can mount a tomb bidder to it that I've had just kind of lying around in pieces. Let's jump right into it and get started. Okay, so here's a little tip if you are grinding metal and you don't have a work table and you're on the floor a pretty good way to burn off your kneecaps is to set the metal on the floor grind away with your knees on the ground and all the sparks go underneath your knees so I prefer to sit like this and the odd chance that a spark flies into my shorts well there's nothing important in there anyways So I've got a lathe over here that will rip your hand off if you're not careful. I've got a drill press that'll rip your hand off if you're not careful. Well, maybe not that one. I've got welders that'll burn your hand off, but safety falls apart when I'm messing with camera equipment. I don't know if I can get a view on that, but I successfully ripped up the entire front of my fingernail just trying to open a battery pack on the camera case. <laughs> Okay, so the work table already looks a lot different. I finished up running a few runs on the dyno and I took it off. I removed the tabletop because it was getting a little bit old, flipped it upside down and now it is the shelf for the bottom. I was able to put a bunch of tools on here, some airlines, uh, extension cords, things like that. And I just finished welding up the corner mount here that is going to be for the tube bender itself. It's a JD squared tube bender model and I'm gonna get to the assembly later on. But what I did here is I have a piece of quarter inch plate um, meeting up in the corner of the frame itself. And then I have a three quarter inch square piece of tubing down here just to kind of make this corner as rigid as possible. It's okay to go a little bit overkill. I don't want any flexing. It's, it's already a cantilever design. It's gonna hang out there. But um, if there's any misalignment, cause I will need to use an angle finder for some of the tube bending work. If there's any misalignment or anything like that, I can always shim the wheels of the table itself. Yeah, so that's it. Let's keep on moving. I figured it's just not right to make a video of assembling a tube bender and putting it on a refurbished work table without actually showing off some tube bending. So here's a quick little piece of scrap and I'm just gonna bend it real quick. Thank you. 
It's the perfect size. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> okay, so that wraps up this video. Two benders mounted, the work table's done. I stuck my drill press up here, but it is pretty tall on that. So maybe, maybe it'll stay there, maybe not. It, it might just bounce back and forth. Yeah, so thanks for watching. The next project we're kicking off is a big one, actually the next three projects. So stick around for that because there's definitely some exciting stuff. We're gonna jump back into 3D scanning um, and lots of design work, plenty of fabrication and some new stuff to the channel as well. If you liked what you saw, give us a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching.